Rotowire fans. Thank you for learning more about the Fantasy Baseball Draft Kit. Now we're going to talk about auction values. So, maybe you're in an auction league instead of a traditional draft league. Great! Auction leagues are a blast. Rotowire can suggest an auction budget for every player based on the specific settings of your league. Let me show you how. Later, too, we're going to look at auction tiers and past auction values. But let's start with customized auction values for your league. We start here on Rotowire. We'll go to the baseball section. We'll then go to Draft Kit and click on Custom Auction Values. Now, there are some default values here based on the last search I did. Um, and we're going to alter that. Now, you can either choose a league that you've already entered in my leagues, or you can do what we're going to do, which is start from scratch. So uh, we're going to make sure auction values is selected. Is our league a roto or a head-to-head -head roto? We're going to go with the roto. And this, again, is for an American League only league. So I'm going to pick American League. And then uh, I'm going to say display sense yes. Because I'm in a crazy old league where the initial fee was 15 bucks, And we still use that with 10 cent intervals. Uh, uh, sorry, 10 cent incremental bids on players. So I definitely want to display sense. And I've got to change the budget from the standard 260 to $15. We have 12 teams. We have 14 batters uh, uh, on our roster. At nine uh, played pitchers. Plus, we've got a few bench guys. Um, and I'm going to spend a little more on batters. I'm going to spend 65 instead of 60%. And this league is a 4x4 four four league, so I need to get rid of runs. And I need to get rid of Ks. But you can see uh, we have a wide assortment of possible categories you could select. And uh, this, is help. this is how we customize it. So the values are for your specific league. Uh, position eligibility is clutch. And in our league, it is 10 games played last year uh, at a certain position. Oh, wait, no, we're changing that because of the uh, shortened season last year. I think we're going with just five. I'm going to change that to just five. And then it's as simple as hitting generate auction values. And boom, we're going to get auction values that are custom uh, for my league. And you can see that the Rotowire software says Garrett Cole is the most valuable player at a whopping $2.52. Remember, that's out of 15 bucks. Uh, and deserves the most or highest bids in this league. Now, I can sort these by batters or by pitchers or any particular position. And again, that position eligibility is based on the five games I entered up here. You can enter whatever your league has. Um, and then what I love to do is I want to export uh, these values, and I want to do it for all, uh, to my spreadsheet. I'm used to using Excel, so I like to dump this into Excel, highlight players, put some notes by players' names, Maybe alter a few of the projections for guys I think is going to do really well. But this gives me a fantastic base uh, for heading into my auction. Like if you just want, and you, when you, if you want to export these, you just click uh, Excel. You can also do a CSV or a PDF file or even just as an image. Uh, I'm going to do Excel. And you can see I get a little window here. Uh, it lets me save it wherever I want. Um, Okay, that's custom auction values. Now that we went into auction values, look at, let's look at some of the other features, which include value tiers and last year's earned auction values. So let's go to auction value tiers. And let's do this for a different league I'm in. This league is head-to-head -head roto. And it is National League only. 
and uh, in this one I'm going to say do not display sense. It has a traditional $260 budget. There are only 10 teams in this league. Um, and we play 14 batters and nine pitchers. Uh, and everyone spends like crazy on batters in this league. So I'm going to zag and go with 60% spent on batters and spend more on pitchers. Uh, this particular league is a five by six uh, league that includes innings pitched. Our commissioner uh, wants to force uh, uh, more starters and less relievers, which is interesting. Uh, anywho, so I got innings pitched. And um, again, uh, this league has requires 10 games last year to qualify at a position. And let's go ahead and generate values. And what we're going to get back is not just pricing tiers, I'm sorry, pricing values, but we're going to get tiers where our Rotowire experts consider the tiers drop at every position. So you can see we've got five tiers at catcher, uh, basically saying it's really up to JT Real Muto uh, as your catcher if you really want the top guy. Uh, or if you just want to be top three, you can go with Smith, Darnold, McCann, or Contreras, and so forth. So maybe you've decided, hey, I really want to make sure I get a top tier third baseman. Well, then really Manny Machado is your only option. Uh, but you might decide, well, there's a lot of good middling first baseman in the NL. So I'll just wait and make sure I get one of these uh, eight first baseman and you can scroll down and you see we have this info for every position including outfield starting pitchers the uh, uh, relief pitchers and should the NL decide to go DH we have that as well see how that nets out so that's auction value tiers Finally, let's talk about one last function within the auction values of our baseball draft kit. That function is earned auction values. So again, you can enter the custom settings of your league and get back exactly what these players earned last year. So last year I was in a head-to-head -head roto league that was uh, National League only, and uh, we had a $260 budget, the traditional budget, and it was a crazy five by six league where the sixth pitching field was innings pitched, which I've selected here. And I'm kind of curious in particular where you, Darvish, ended the season. I had him early. Uh, when he was having a nice bounce back year for the Cubbies. But then I traded him. I don't really know where he netted out. I do know he was a big trade move to the Padres this offseason. But let's see how he did last year. So I'm going to generate last year's auction values based on our league rules. And whoa, Darvish was the second best player with a value of $46 in our $260 budget, maybe that wasn't such a smart trade that I made. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, good to know heading this season. Bit of a pitcher's park for the Padres. Maybe he'll do even better. Uh, boy, that is one loaded rotation the Padres have. Anyway, once again, I can ex uh, export this into a spreadsheet, a CSV, a PDF, or even an image file. And that will include all these players' auction values from last year. And that might be a handy reference that I want to compare with the auction values the Rotowire experts are predicting for this upcoming season. So that's it for auction values. We really hope you'll subscribe uh, to Rotowire for this baseball season, not just to prepare for your draft, but to easily manage your hopefully winning team throughout the season. Thank you. Please like our video and subscribe to Rotowire. Then go to rotowire.com.
slash pod for a free 10-day trial.